time. In the last tutorial, I described how you're going to make a flash screen uh, form and how you're going to code it. And I told you that the next step is uh, creating a login form and uh, coding the login form. Uh, this is your login form, which has been uh, designed. So the next thing to do is to code it. As you can see, this login form has a couple of our uh, uh, buttons, uh, the login button, uh, the, the reset button, and the exit button. Also, you have two uh, text uh, boxes uh, for username and the other one for password, and you have this label that has the name, username, and password, and the, the label on top the heart that says uh, login. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to quickly uh, code each of these uh, buttons, but before I do so, I'm just going to change a little bit, uh, uh, set some properties in this form. So I'm going to set the uh, max max bus property uh, to false because I don't want my, you know, login form to be able to be maximized. So also I'm going to uh, rename my form name from FRM, you know, login to something like. Uh, Login only, that should be fine. So now comes to the coding part. So I'm gonna code the first button, which is uh, the easiest one to code. So I'm just gonna code the exit button, uh, which is a uh, me that exit the close. Sorry, so as I said, under I'm gonna code the reset button and say txt pass door. Clear. Then txt user dot clear. The next thing I want to do is uh, set focus back to the uh, username text box. So txt user dot focus, and that should be hit for uh, our reset button. So the, the next button is the the login button. So we're going to just uh, declare two variables, uh, username and password. So the one is a deem uh, user from a pass as a string. Our users assign a value to user and say is the root and the pass say that's a root, so we find then I'll say password. Okay, I'm oh, sorry, pass equals to plus to password. Okay, now you have a name for your uh, username and your password. So let's give us a simple uh, if else condition and try to test the condition. So if uh, txt uh, user the text that is the username uh, the value from the text box is the name equals to uh, user that is the value we are assigning and uh, uh, txt pass the text equals to uh, pass then and this then you have okay. should be fine. And what is the condition? Just display message, uh, message box that show uh, welcome user. So how's uh, message box that show? Username. Uh, 
a password. Oh, so far, so good. Uh, this is fine. The next thing we're going to do is to clear the, the form, I mean the text boxes if this condition is not true and uh, shift focus back to the first text box which is the username text field. Also I want to set the accept button to, to be a login button so me that accept button equals the BDN login. So this is pretty good and uh, let me quickly uh, run the code of the project make a pardon well the reason why this is coming I'm gonna explain it to you in a, in a, in a little while it's because I didn't uh, change uh, the, the form that should be loaded by default so let me just show you how to do that so you go to your project and uh, you go to the property and uh, here you have something the startup form so change it to the particular form you want as a startup form I have presently won my login form so I change it to from login and, and that should be hit so from login should come up automatically so the username root and the password is password so I entered and here I have my you know authentic user what if I have a, a, a user that is not authorized so let's say ABCDXYZ user so you have a wrong user who is trying to access uh, my application so I'm just gonna close the next thing I'm going to show you is how to add uh, the number of try or restriction to the number of attempts to log in. Here you declare a global variable, uh, let's say count, and say deem count as a, a double equals to zero. Let's initialize it. Then in the else part of our code, that is, if that condition is not true, so count because the count are uh, plus one. Um, for people who understand programming a little, they will know that it's the same as saying uh, equals to one. So whichever one you prefer, so I'll go with this. So oh, sorry. So I put comment on there, and I'm gonna declare uh, say uh, another variable uh, max uh, max count uh, as uh, so double uh, and. Uh, Let's say mark count and, and remaining count, remain underscore count. Both as double. So I'm going to set the number of count I want to be three. I mean, after three attempts, the user should uh, not be able to you know log into the application and the application should automatically close. So, so let's say max count equals to three. So remain on this count because the max count uh, minus count.
So which which means that the uh, the number of counts is is actually the remaining count means we are trying to re recover the number of attempts with the more that the person tries to enter the, the, the application, the more attempts it make, we are reducing the the uh, the value. So so here since we have this so we can just modify this and say uh, plus t backslash t escape t which means new tab and uh, uh, how many tries okay remain on the scope count tries remaining or left And this should be here. The next thing we want to do is uh, give a condition that now if our count are uh, equals to three, if count equals to max count. If the number of attempts equals to three times, sorry, this is me thinking I'm writing C sharp language. So. Okay, max count. Then, then this should happen. Uh, should have a message. Uh, says uh, max attempt exceeded probably have something uh, that says uh, try again please try again So fine. We are not interested in in this whole ceremony. We're just interested in the way the code actually works. So we just have to close the application if this condition is satisfied. That is, if the number of attempt is three, then we don't want the user to be able to access application. So application that exit. And that should be it. So let me run the code and let's see what we got. So I'm typing a random username and random password, and I'm entering. Oh, uh, what did I do? Okay, so counts left. Okay, just okay, right. I don't know why that's coming. Uh, that's probably that's fine. Okay, you have four reasons best known. Two tries left and uh, one try is left. And you have zero try left and exit edit and uh, the application is closed. So that's how to create or to make your login from, how to code your login from actually uh, without a database. But in the next tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you and showing you how to actually add a database to your login form. The first thing we'll try to do is to create a, a database table that is for the registration of the user account and also the login table, which uh, we're going to be able to fetch our data from. 
I hope you do join me for my next tutorial when I'll take you on the bigger journey which is working with databases. I wish you good luck and uh, uh, best of luck. God be with you. Bye.